Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. Psalm chapter 97 verse 12, Mr. S.N.A. from Asiat, tells, I am married to Mrs. M.N. And my wife and I longed for a child from God, to fill our hearts and our lives with joy and happiness. However, sadly, even nine years into our marriage, my wife was unable to conceive. During those years, we resorted to many doctors, and we underwent multiple types of medical assessments. We took many different types of medications, but all to no avail. We were overcome with sadness and heavy hearts. Nevertheless, we did not lost hope in God's mercies and his wonders. We were introduced to Father Falteus through one of his reverence's miracle books. We asked for his intercession saying, Please, ask the Lord Jesus to grant us a child that we may rejoice, just as many others had asked. And God was glorified with them through your pure hands. Sure enough, heaven's response was extremely rapid, because my wife felt that she was pregnant. I took her to an obstetrician. And after examining her and completing the necessary tests, to our ultimate surprise and joy, my wife was pregnant. We were overjoyed and we continued to follow up with the same doctor throughout the pregnancy. Eventually, God granted us twin girls, whom we named Parthenia and Presvia. We thanked God for his bountiful and heartwarming gifts that were given to us through the intercessions of our great saint, Father Falteus El Suriani, who truly gladdens the hearts. He also tells, Three months after my wife's delivery, Presvia became ill and she was no longer aware of her surroundings. She could not see anything around her and she was not communicating with us as her sister was. We took her to a specialist in Cairo, and after examining her and doing the necessary tests, he said to us, the problem is not in her vision. It is in her brain, and this requires surgery. After hearing this, we were deeply saddened. On our way home, we stopped by a bookstore and we purchased the CD of the Desert Eagle, which tells the story and miracles of Father Falteus. When we arrived home, we watched the CD and we were deeply touched by it, to the point where we cried while watching it. We beseeched our saintly father with fervent tears, to intervene and ask God for Presvia's healing. At midnight, while Presvia was asleep, I placed a tiny picture of F.R. Falteus above her eyes and her head, and my wife and I went to sleep. Early the next morning, the miracle was fulfilled. We noticed that Presvia was moving in a very normal fashion. She was focusing on her surroundings, she was aware of our presence and she began to play just like her sister. She became completely normal, and was able to focus on anything around her. We rejoiced. And we thanked our Lord Jesus Christ who granted her rapid healing through the intercessions of our beloved Father, Father Falteus El Suriani who gladdened our hearts and became a powerful patron saint for us. May the blessings of his prayers and his intercessions be with us all. Amen.